Fields and that hey, bastard Dorian Dark Welcome back to Castlevania no Lords of Shadow. Maker. If it's anyone been a little bit since the last death, session of recording, he, and it's been a bit since no I've uploaded it as well. I've been trying to get back onto my normal Countless schedule, but, you know. have met the same fate by his hand. The this episode was called well. Browner. We have what we Browner. need to confront the Dark Lord. I don't and think I, I actually know Gabriel's how to pronounce it, but presumably, like... To see this through. The vampires must know it may or may not relic, be a reference and to I'm the sure they will move to stop like us villain of can. Portrait of Ruin. Um, Portrait of Ruin is a semi-important, semi-interesting game. The deal with it is holy water. Holy water is devastating against vampires and the undead. Um, Browner is the villain of Portrait of Ruin. And presumably he's named as reference to that. The reason that Browner is interesting or means something is because, uh... He's a non-Dracula who is still in control of Castle. Which is interesting. Like, he's not Dracula. He is a vampire, but... He gains control of Castlevania. Um, Castlevania just shows up in World War II at some point. Because, man, shit was bad. And the, su and the, the misery in inherent to that just kind of summoned Castlevania. Then now we have this. That's pretty good. But yeah, there's this there's this trend of like we don't know where to take Castlevania next, so we'll just start taking away crucial parts of Castlevania. Put it out in your own games your own franchise that you're a fan of, you know? Like, one thing in Castlevania is, like, you're playing as the Belmonts. If they're really running out of ideas on how to mix it up, then you play as not the Belmonts. So, get back into the swing of things. Uh, yeah, you play as not the Belmonts if you want to mix it up. So like, oh, we'll play, you'll play as some asshole named Lacard, or some, like, some bastard offshoot of the Belmont line, named the Morrisons, or what have you. Or like, go even harder and play as, like, Dracula's son, and that's another thing. Castlevania is, like, always staying off of, but always wants to get into, like, playing as Dracula. Like, twist for, like, it's difficult to not spoil Aria of Sorrow, because the twist ending of Aria of Sorrow is, like, outright 100% stated and confirmed in the opening of Dawn of Sorrow, and as a result, it was in the, like, promotional material. Lieutenant Browner, yeah? Powerful daemon turned into a dark lord. Turned by the Dark Lord, young vampires are beastal but become stronger and can regain human form. Indeed, men of the oldest vampires are mistaken for highborn aristocracy. However, this creature was never human can take that form. He's a spawn of hell with vampiric powers. But it's a thing of like, we want to play as Dracula and so we'll get so, so close to that but never actually fully go through with it. So like, hey, we'll play as Dracula's son or Dracula's reincarnation. Word. Killing you will be even easier than slaughtering those villagers. Uh, no comments about anything beyond that. 
and a thing of like, what if in Castlevania you're not in Castlevania, or you are, but Dracula's not there? Like, you know, it's it's the whole thing. He's the lord of the castle. But what if he wasn't, though? And so in, I think, Curse of the Moon, you play, like, Curse of the Moon has a bunch of these things going on. I'm like, oh, what if you didn't have, like, what if you weren't playing as, um, a Belmont and said you were playing as a weird knockoff Belmont who's, like, an offshoot family and he's just, that's rad. He's just, like, the Belmonts and all. Drink your blood tonight, warrior. Word. Oh, get in there. <laughs> uh, and then the lady in the castle isn't Dracula either. It's Carmilla. Man, I've got to say, that got a worse shit of like, I'm going to jump on your back and then I'm going to pull at your shoulders until your wings come off. That's always cool. I always appreciate that. The fact that there are so few flying enemies in God of War 4, or the game that's just called God of War, like, I feel like that really um, negatively affects that, because, like, I can't rip wings off stuff when there's only nine Valkyries in the game, but, like, it is cool to, to do it occasionally, you know? And then when you actually finally defeat a Valkyrie and, like, just start tearing wings off of it, like, ugh, you know? Start getting your blood hype. But it's, um, and then, like, this, of course, has a lot of God of War DNA. Let's see what we can get for skills. Got in there. Wait, what am I spending this on? Oh, yeah, these. Got a bunch of these. Yeah, so was, village is safe like, for now. The doing a big hype fight against Broner and then Broner. having Castle Sewers and you will little... travel back to the Dark Lord. I don't know about that. This is a Sorry, bow, but it talk. won't take long for them to regroup. Luckily, one of the villagers has revealed to us a secret path into the demon's castle. This will lead Gabriel into the sewers, and then up into the very jaws of death. The villagers called him God Saviour, and his weapon they called Vampire Killer. Ah, Gandolfi, how that would make you smile. As for me, once my business here is done, I shall follow my friend and aid him where I can. Vampire Killer, man. It's always the best. It's so cool. It's cool every time. Like the song Vampire Killer, hearing of a weapon called the Vampire Killer. The fact that it's initially just an unassuming whip. Hell yeah. Just, that's all I can say about it. This does look pretty cool. Like when you confirm for me, yeah, the bats. Gotta get the bats. Yeah, when you confirm for me that this level is going to be the castle sewers, that's a little lame. Looks great in here, guys. How could they possibly generate this much sewage? I assume that when we saw the village, like, that was the entire population. There can't be that many more people living here. Even if the castle has a larger population, then they would need more villagers to feed on. This reminds me of a Diablo 3. I forget which one. Oh, 
I know. I'm working on it. Really, bro? That's not fair. Not cool at all. Is this not the way I'm going? Because damn. So it's your deal. Uh, the condition of Weigel's sewerage system. Sewerage is the name of uh, a sewer system. No, sewerage is the stuff that goes through a sewer. Sorry, I'm trying to remember my languages here. The few entry points are sealed at the spike trap, despite being corroded, works perfectly. To cross these, any potential attacker would need help from this side. I, can ima I cannot imagine a Brotherhood member helping the Dark Lords and cannot see anyone else here apart from some dusty bones. Are we going down here? No, that's nothing. Also, why mention that the fog is poisonous? I know that it's probably bad to, like, be standing in... Or I know it's probably bad to be breathing the fumes in here, but I would think that the problem is that there's... Oh. I would think that the problem is that there's, like... You know, that I'm standing, like, waist deep in what I assume to be vampire shit. I can only imagine that, like, blood shit is worse than normal blood. Than normal shit or blood. Hmm. Oh, is this something? Gotta kill the chairs. It's a law. Oh, right, they're letting me do that now. I forgot I got the, like, extendo steak or whatever. Yeah, skeleton warrior. <laughs> this is kind of a goofy bit. Like, this is almost like... Damn. Like, that's almost cartoonish of, like... Yeah, there's a there's a thing out there that should allow me to get my juice back. So I think I can just like magic these fools up. Still gotta remember how to fight. Oh man. Vaguely Dark Souls S skeleton move there. Become a tornado. There we go. Oh, huh. So what does that mean? Damn. Say that for free. 
So I assume that this is going to be a thing of like, I just need to kill them as fast as I can so I can move on to blowing that thing up. Maybe. Oh, right. I didn't fill my health back up. Actually, it might even be good to restart the whole level. Just because, like, I did a lot of walking through, like, poison. And so my health is going to be starting off low. When it could be starting off at nearly low. Of course, I would need to die first, but I don't know that I have yet. What is this miserable uh, Castlevania comic? I don't own it, my friend Robert. Uh, I read it once, though, and, like, it's just not very good. It just... I, I've never seen anyone else talk about it. I don't, I don't even know if I've, like, seen it on the Castlevania Wiki. Of course, this also could be a good moment for my Holy Waters. But I recall them working well against Undead. Oh, you gotta crunch them whenever you get on them. Gotcha. Skeleton Warrior. Size and difficulty are medium. Human inhabitants of a vampire castle suffered a cool fate when the Dark Lord set her lair up inside. When most of them changed into vampire warriors, a few, mainly those given the Dark Lord's most loyal retainers, who were the Dark Lord's most loyal retainers, were made into skeleton warriors by the skeleton of the puppeteer, whoever the hell that is. Unlike other beings animated by this magic, the vestiges of once human soul make skeleton warriors difficult to man, and are therefore rarely found in groups greater than two or three. That's kind of So maybe it's a thing of like, I talked about how it's a, almost a punitive thing of like, of like, um, hey, you got killed, so you should be punished. Or no, uh, you, you were killing this thing and then didn't capitalize hard enough on it. So for that, you should be punished. Which is annoying, of course. Looks like this goo is safe, at least. My health is full. I'm getting weird uh, fixed camera shenanigans here. jump over that, can I? No. Do not have the range. Okay, so this does make me slow walk, but it does not make me take damage, as near as I can tell. I don't know why. It's probably so I can do this. Weird fixed camera stuff. Damn it. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That ought to make it easier. Hopefully at least. I'll just go in with full. This is a pretty fun and goofy scene. I really like how it's like so almost cartoon. It's like a Looney Tunes, you know? I'm hoping that I don't have to drop the dick off again, but honestly, I am actually finding myself pretty pleased with it. The Metroidvania uh, Castlevanias always get very, very easy at some point near the end. Actually, usually near like the middle point. Damn, guys, can I?
See, I'm not mad about dying to these guys at all because they make me think of Spinal. You know what? Spinal's awesome. Does that get you? Holy water back. Still got you, though. They're not particularly super aggressive beasts as well. I know that they want to have the, um, like, the sensation of extending the, the stake into there. But I don't know. I feel like some of these could be automated. Stay fresh on that. Cool. That was honestly a pretty good uh, encounter. I kind of like that. Good way to introduce the skeleton warriors. But yeah, I was talking earlier about like how in some games they'll... Skeletons here are formidable. Discover the weakness. Eventually they'll crumble. And destroy the bones. Ooh, what's in here? Many big knives. Oh, how do I... Damn, I totally don't remember. That's a, that's a shame. Gauntlet. Gauntlet. Is it? Oh, it's a relic power, right? Share a punch. LT and X. Oh man, we Devil May Cry 3 now. Oops. Uh, just more daggers? Okay. Does this one fill back up? Oh, it must have done that because I was already full on daggers. It's a full refill. No. Okay. I can't jump up to here or here. That's faster. 
Uh, this is the rust showing, I think. I grabbed there instead of rolling, but would have been the same anyway. Sprint. Oh, right. I got I could do that too. I'm pretty pleased with the level of power that I'm amassing. Hmm. All right, check to walk through. I really have no idea how this was, like, logically supposed to be figured out. And then you turn around and throw a dagger. Isn't that weird? They don't give you more, um... Oh, look at that. They don't give you more, um magic refill, so I had to go back and get magic refill, which was annoying. Yeah, well, I really, I think I want to get Somersault Strike just because it's the only one I don't have. Yeah, cool. We're on chapter six now. Castle courtyard, and then... Despite his best efforts to try the entering the castle unnoticed, the vampires know that Gabriel is coming. Night is fast approaching, and soon he will have to use all his wits and powers to defeat what nightmares inhabit this place of death and decay. His strength grows by the day, and yet his hate intensifies deep within. He eats little and sleeps less. She is there in his thoughts, his beloved Marie. He knows that his journey is far from over. This castle, I fear, will push him into the abyss from which there is no escape. Okay. been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed recently. I actually made that um, Assassin's Creed video. That was last month, but that was actually closer to uh, recent times for me. Because, you know, I've been catching up. Um, both of the videos were, in fact, the Assassin's Creed videos. Damn. Holy water, nice. Whoops, that was bad. <laughs> Just put, did my inputs backwards. Still gotta jump it though. Okay. But yeah, I, I often refer to this, like, style of, like, climbing stuff as Uncharted, and it definitely is. But I, uh, I've been thinking of it in, like, in an Assassin's Creed context now. Oh god, go. 
Not the armors. That did some damage to you, sir. I'm always fond of, um, like attacks that have a purpose. Also, minor detail, but I kind of do wish that, um, my jump had a little more invincibility. Work. Because I love jumping over or through attacks. Those in. I feel like Gabriel could look a little more aggressive in, in some of those attacks. Damn you. You got me so good, dude. thinking like man if I had a co-op buddy I could I could rinse like rinse through these guys in a second and then, or I could keep them busy while someone's pulling that up and I was thinking about the co-op Castlevanias because there isn't a lot of them nice um I'm trying to think like I think there's just um harmony of despair the joke the joke is that it's one of the first Castle 2D Castlevania games that's actually made to be in HD. Uh, dude. It's one of the first Castlevanias to actually be in HD. Why doesn't Why can't you climb why can't you jump over that though? Um, and the initials of the game are HD. Which is annoying because there's also a game called Harmony of Dissonance, and I forget if I forget what the title of the other game is. Weird. Yes, fill me up. Are we gonna get skeleton warriors? Hell yeah. Actually, why shouldn't I just stay in all the time? If there's a mana refill right there. But yeah, it's a shame that the um, co-op Castlevanias aren't like a little better. Oh, what? What's going on here then? Oh, I see. Burning this magic for no reason. We got some more. Oh my god. Was he dizzy? I just I got distracted there for a second because of the little flickers around the skeleton's head. I think he was dizzy. That's super funny. He was dizzy from spinning around in a circle like that. Seasoned is the achievement that I've got. You can't really see it behind my head. No, 
No, I, I know that I can smash through the door, guys. I know how to smash through the door as well. Just that I'm a little busy right now. I, I in fact, can't smash through the door because Belmont's going to just auto-lock onto those things. Maybe it's time for this. Okay, watch. He's, he's dizzy now, see? That's hilarious. I love that. Oh, I smashed through with you. Or I don't. Okay. He's open. I can backtrack. I did grab some stuff off camera, but that was a that was quite a while ago. By now, you know. Kill now? Looks that way. Non interactable. Hello, sir. The Relic of the Abbey can destroy vampire, not only destroy vampires, but when combined with light magic, creates a shield that surrounds the wielder. Wish I had such an item, for the vampires are strong and weary of battle. I must rest if only for a few minutes. That will certainly not backfire on me in any way. Got a full crystal already, sorry. Oh god, I just remembered having to do the Colossus fights. I really hope that we don't have to do more of those. Like, I know that they spend a whole lot of money on it, but like, ugh, right? Okay, so those let me go up on my own. I'll go back up on my own. Damn, guess I just missed that. That's alright. Like I said, I haven't really been suffering with difficulty. I've been suffering with, like, puzzles. Dude, not cool. Also, I don't know how to cancel this. Caught in their corner traps now. Thank you, Gabriel. Wow. Okay, let's not get stuck in there then. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do this.
Up. Oh. Damn. Again, like, sometimes I do find myself a little disappointed with the, uh, the quality of the jump. Like, it comes off of uh, a DMC. Oh, you're alive. How dare you? But yeah, like, using the, the, I don't know what, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I need to just learn what things get me to the ground better, faster. All right. And then I guess we'll see what's behind this door next time, because uh, that's normally how long I record for. So thank you for watching. I've been Alfred. This has been Castlevania Lords of Shadow. I hope you had a good time. I certainly did. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.